mean, if we're talking about vegetative state versus brain death, you know, I think it's important to take into consideration, you know, on page 903, she talking didn't about vegeta it. vegetative state, it's no evidence of awareness or no evidence God, of would you shut up already? responses. But, you can't just keep you know, rephrasing the same story about your dying grandmother. You know what I mean? like, she wanted to die. You know, we get there's it. There's still brain metabolism in a I really person. wish you'd you know, shut up and let someone who's there, done the reading it, speak. And, you know, well, not again, me, like, obviously, but someone. Going on, and I just think that when we're talking about... This class was supposed to start two minutes ago. I should get a refund every time a professor shows up late. $15,600 a semester, 13 weeks of class. It's $2 a minute. Like when my grandmother and really, was sick, would it have killed you to run a brush state, through your hair? $6 wasted. That's lunch right there. The undergraduate registrar should buy me lunch. Fucking uh, prep schoolgirls. Like she really just wanted the plug to be pulled. So, you just know, I think shut dangerous. up. Whoa, I'm sorry. What did I say? Oh, about, like, sorry. I wasn't talking to you. Well, then who are you talking to? Myself. Well, er, I was thinking about what I want to say to this girl in my section. Well, that's confusing. Oh, yeah. Well, sorry. Adam, what do you think of Lori's definition of cortical death? Oh, shit. I think that, uh... Redefining death is futile. So long as we can't be sure that the... cognitive functions of interest are truly localized to the... cortical region of interest across the entire subject pool. Well, nice save. You, can't deny that you should have done the reading. By the way, who's your TA? He's adorable. What? No, he's not. He's short. Short men can be very handsome. I'll show you handsome. It's definitely worth the cost if it is going to give us a more accurate representation of the patient's mental state. So you want to play that game, huh? She said that she would really like to be unplugged. So, you know, I think that it should be left up to the patient. Oh! So, I was talking to Alice a few days ago. You remember Alice, right? Yeah. Well, Alice was telling me that John went out clubbing with his fraternity brothers. Uh-huh. And Mary was there. You remember Mary. Adam! Mary! Blonde hair, always wears pink and pearls. <laughs> What was that? Oh, uh, sorry, part of the movie. I guess I was concentrating too hard. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, well, anyway, John told Alice that Mary was hitting on him, which is totally out of character. If anything, I'm sure that John got drunk and was trying to hook up with the first girl he could find, and that just so happened to be Mary. <laughs> Adam, what's that? Oh, uh... Are you watching porn? What? No, it's just some movie I downloaded. Yeah, okay, right. Like some movie is gonna make you lose control like that. It's porn. No, it's not. It's some French thing about some guy who can't move. There's no reason to be watching some filthy whore. At least whores know when to shut up and put out. What? Oh, fuck. You heard that? Do you like the cookies I made? Yeah, they're great. <laughs> Actually, my mother made them. Really? Doesn't she pay people to cook for her? I resent that. My mother does a lot of things for herself. She works hard just like anyone else. Sorry, I can't stay for long. I have a gynecologist appointment. Oh, gross. I don't want to know that. What? It's okay for you to stick your tongue in it, but not okay for a trained professional to examine? No, it's not that. It's just that the idea of being tied down and probed terrifies me. And do you have to mention your mother and the gynecologist in the same breath? I'm a very visual person, and you're going to make me imagine something that neither of us wants to see. You're coming to dinner tonight, right? I'm making fettuccine and grilled sea bass. Don't forget to pick up a bottle of- White wine, I know. 
No, not white wine. Pinot Grigio. Okay. Pinot Grigio. Adam, please make sure it's Pinot Grigio. I really wish you'd pay more attention when I tell you things. It just makes me feel like you don't take our relationship very seriously. I just want to know where this is going. This thing between us. You know that I'm going to be going to med school next year, and we may be hundreds of miles apart. And it worries me that you're not invested enough to make it work long distance. Adam. Adam! Adam, I'm trying to talk to you about something serious, and all you can do is think about sex? Christ, it's 12.45. I need to get to my doctor's appointment. Adam, do you love me?